Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tullis. This is the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors, and today we're going to take a look at routine maintenance that you need to do on your Bamboo Lab A1 and A1 Mini, and how to tell when it's time to perform it. So, uh, first up here, we're going to take a look at uh, this um, rippling effect that you can get on vertical surfaces of your prints. Um, out of the box, neither my A1 or my A1, my two A1 minis were looking like this. They were nice and smooth, but gradually over time, this ripple effect did creep in. Uh, this particular model is a 28 millimeter miniature. You're looking at the rear side of a cape and the round base, but both uh, surfaces are exhibiting this rippling effect. And this comes from printing at higher speeds, uh, motor vibration, things like that. But when it starts creeping in, you know it's time to do a calibration on the machine again. So this is really easy to fix. All you have to do is go into your settings, hit maintenance, and hit calibration, and tell it to do the two calibrations for vibration compensation and motor noise cancellation again. Uh, this is what you did when you first got your printer. Uh, I would recommend doing it maybe once a month now. But as you can see, just running those calibrations uh, that rippling effect is now gone. So this is a really easy thing to do. Um, I don't have an exact timetable or number of hours you need to print. I'm going to need to do a lot more study on this and testing. But for now, I'm going to start doing it once a month and see if that's enough to ward this off. But if you start seeing this rippling effect, it's time to do it. The next issue is... Um, I started noticing on the z-axis it was getting stuck. It was compressing a number of layers uh, about a quarter inch up on all of my prints and then it would eventually move up but you got this nasty squish line like what you're seeing here on this small print I was trying to do for one of my sons. Um, but at the top of that round protrusion on the back it was compressing it and we were getting this really nasty seam. Um, here's another view of it. But as you can see, it was through the whole model, and it was definitely something to do with the Z-axis screw. So that means there's debris or something in it, and it's time to clean it out. Um, but that you have something in to make it do this. You have something in the screw, in the threads that's binding it up. So you need to go clean it. The first thing we're going to do is go in to your LCD menu under Control, hit X Y Z, and move the print head all the way down. So you're going to move this all the way down until uh, it bottoms out. Uh, don't worry, it's not going to crash into your bed. Um, I'll have these nylon brushes linked in the video description. They're the same ones that I recommend using in my lubrication video. But they're nice and stiff, and they will work out the gunk in the uh, Z-axis screw. What you're going to do is while you're moving the print head up and down, you're going to insert them and try to wipe off as much of the grease as possible that's on the screw um, that's already in there that's holding whatever debris is in there, the dirt and the gunk. But here you are. You're just going to move the print head up and down. And then periodically you're going to wipe off that brush on a paper towel and hopefully you're going to get whatever is you know binding this up. Uh, but you're going to want to do it for the whole length of the screw. I'm just showing here we're doing it towards the bottom. I'm just working those two brushes in there alternating back and forth. The, the, the different sizes will hit different areas better but you're going to have to get it at kind of an angle here. And you're just wanting to strip out as much of the grease that is on that screw as possible because whatever is binding it up will be stuck in that grease and it will come out with it. So just keep wiping it off on a paper towel and it's going to look like this, really black and nasty. Um, but go in there, do it multiple times and work your way all the way up the screw. Um, I'm just showing towards the bottom because this is where my problem would be because it was occurring about a quarter inch up. But while the screw is moving, I'm just getting in there with these nylon brushes, and I really recommend getting these brushes. They're nice and thick and stiff, and they will work out whatever is in the screw. So just doing that, I ended up with a ton of black gook. I hadn't cleaned the screw in about six weeks. Uh, I'm going to go to doing the screws at least every three weeks now, and hopefully prevent this from happening again. Uh, as you can see here, the problem is completely resolved. There is no hang-up whatsoever at that point. 
These prints look fantastic now. They're nice and smooth. Uh, here is a before and after. And again, it's something so easy. Just keep that Z uh, screw clean. Uh, here's another before and after. Um, this is my only beef really with the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini is that Z-axis screw. They've hidden it in this housing and they did it to make the machine look nice, but man, it makes it tough to clean that Z-axis screw out. The full size A1 is easier, even though it's still hidden in the housings, it's directly opposite the openings, which makes it easier to get in with the brushes. But um, just from a maintenance point of view, I really do like the Creality setup better where the uh, Z-axis screws are exposed. It makes, yeah, they get dirtier faster, but it also makes them much easier and faster to clean. Uh, but, you know, it's a nitpick. You can't, if you get these brushes, I recommend you will be able to get it cleaned out, no problem. Uh, but again, uh, the proof is right here and how, how much of a difference it makes keeping those Z-axis screws clean. Now, once you've done this, you need to go and re-lubricate your Z-axis screw. Uh, my lubrication video for the A1 and A1 Mini is linked above and down below in the video description. So go check that out. Once you've stripped out the grease, you do need to apply new grease again per my video. Uh, that's it for today. Please click that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.